how to grade your comics. We're going to look at modern comics and for today we'll consider a modern comic any comic with glossy pages. We will not be looking at newsprint comics or comics printed on newsprint paper. Comics are graded on a 10 point numbered scale. 10 being the best, 0 or 0.5 being the worst. They're also graded by a letter scale. Near mint, mint, uh, very fine, fine, very good, good, fair and poor. We'll start with a number grade and then we'll convert that to a letter grade. Minor problems are a tenth of a point off. Problems the size of a dime are a minimum of 0.5 off. Something the size of a quarter would be considered a major problem and that's a minimum of a point off or more. Uh, if your comic got wet it destroys the value of the comic. It's already a poor comic. First we'll look at the overall appearance of the comic. Is the cover bright and shiny? Does the book lay flat on the table? When you leaf through the book, does it have all its pages? Are the pages clean? Do they have rips? If everything looks good on the inside, there's nothing missing, there's no problems, then we're going to look at the outside closer. The most common defects are chipping, spine stress, dents, and corner blunting. Each one of these spine stresses, each one of those little marks, is counted as one-tenth of a point. Each chip is a tenth of a point. Corner blunting the same, dents are the same, unless they're the size of a quarter or a dime, then you got a half a point off or a full point off. Most comic books that you buy directly from your comic book store, they're going to grade between a 9 and a 9.8. Mint comics, those 9.9s, those 10.0 perfect comics really do not exist in the wild. Your grades on your comics will go down after they're purchased and read. The most common defect you're going to see will be spine stress. You need to count each one of those little ticks, those little marks on the spine. It's a tenth of a point. Two other common problems that you'll see are scraping or color scraping. This usually happens at the point of printing, at the point of manufacture, where the cover, the color is scraped from the, from the cover. This can go from a tenth of a point defect all the way up to a many point defect. The last most common defect are waves, and waves are caused by too much humidity typically at the time of packing the comic uh, when the comic is about to be shipped it absorbs the moisture and can't dissipate it and so it dissipates it into the other comics around it waves are correctable problems with time and pressure but if you're going to send it out for grading or you're going to look at the book for grading you have to look at it as a at least a half point off to many points off depending on how deep and how much of the comic book is affected other problems that you may find are dog ears that do not break color. They're 0.5 off until it's corrected, and they are correctable by pressing. If the dog ear breaks color, basically it becomes a crease, then it's minus one point per quarter's worth of length and subtract that from the grade. If the comic is missing its cover, page, or has a cutout, in modern comics this is not acceptable and your comic is considered to be poor. It's already knocked down to a 0.5 book. A comic that has a rusty staple is minus one full point per rusty staple and then you have to take off for the damage that the rusty staple is doing to the paper, the rust migration into the paper. If your comic is missing a staple, Staple, but is complete it's a one point downgrade until you can replace the staples now that you know the basics of grading let's grade a few books together you'll need a piece of paper and a pen we also have a template a grading template available for free of charge on our website it's under pyramidcomics.com forward slash grading and it's towards the bottom to save some time i've checked the interior of the books for defects and flaws and there were none So as I look at the back of the book, I see, we're going to look at all the corners first. They look good. We have some, get that on camera, a little bit of dirt there. That's a tenth. Look at the front. Look at our corners. A 
I see a dent there. It's a tenth. There's the dent. There's a scrape. That's another tenth. Here's a little uh, spine tick. That's a tenth. So I count one, two, three on the front. Four on the back. So three on the front and one on the back. As you can see, we have no flaws in the interior. We have one minor flaw in the back cover. We have three minor flaws on the front cover. We have no major flaws. We take those four tenths of a point off. The 10, we get a 9.6. And that translates into a letter grade of near mint. And as I promised you, I'll give you all the number to letter conversions for grades at the end of the video. Next book we'll look at Flash 71 variant. So we've already checked the interior. There's no problems. We're going to check the back. So that corner is good. That corner is good. We got a little bit of chipping there. We have a little bit of chipping there. Look at the front. The chip comes all the way through. The chip comes all the way through. And there is a chip there. So we got Flash 71 variant. As you can see, we have zero uh, minor flaws on the interior. We have two flaws on the back cover, three minor flaws on the front cover, comes out to a five. There are no major flaws. You take your 0.5 tenths off of uh, your 10, so you got a 9.5. That translates to a letter grade of near mint. All right, the last book we're going to do is Middle West, number seven. And this one's a little bit of a tougher book to grade. So let's go through it. Edge has a little bit of blunting down here. It's a little hard to see. That's a tenth. This corner looks okay. This corner has a little bit of a chip. You see that little white poking out? That's a tenth. And then we got this edge that's got a little bit of a chipping. That's a tenth. We'll go to the back. The back has a visible wave. The wave will press out over time, but if you're going to send it out for grading today, you have to account for it. So it's five tenths of a point off for the wave. Then we have a watermark. And that watermark, even though it's small, and it's significantly smaller than a dime, and significantly smaller than a quarter, um, that's a good two-tenths of a point off. We have a little bit of a scraping down here. And since the scraping was long, but it's not very deep, I think that's two-tenths of a point off. We have a scrape chip up here. That's another tenth. We have another one here. A little hard to see, but that little white fleck. That's a tenth. And down here at this very bottom. Hard to see again, but that's another tenth. So let's add it up. So our book has 
no minor flaws on the interior, has 12 minor flaws on the back cover, has three minor flaws on the front cover for a total of 15 minor flaws. It has no major flaws. So you minus your 15 from your 10, you get an 8.5. 8.5 equals a VF or a very fine book. It's always best practice for any book that is less than near mint to write down your grader's notes on why you saw those flaws, where those flaws were, and how they affected grade. So why do we grade comics and why do we have two separate grading systems? Letter grades are used for casual transactions. They give you a broad sense of what type of comic you're buying or what type of condition the collection that you may be interested in or trying to sell are. We look at number grades for high value comics. The desirability of a comic equals its price and a comics grade can increase or decrease the desirability of that comic. So knowing very specifically what problems or defects a comic may have will directly influence its price. Well, I hope you liked the video. If you could, please give us a thumbs up. That definitely helps us out. And uh, if you have any comic-related questions, please ask them below. I'll try to answer them.